Be ready for the Pirates of Penzance. And um, this was a opera type of musical kind of film. And I thought it was okay, but you know, it's just it's just me. It's probably just me. But they yell so loud sometimes when they're singing that you can't understand what they say. And that just it's probably just me. I'm not used to these kind of films. But you know, they were very talented. They, a lot of them had good voices and stuff. Um, I'm trying to see what year this came out in. Um, well, this it looks like this whole disc was made in '82, so that's a long time ago. You gotta remember, this disc goes back a long time. When I looked it up on the website, it could have swore it said '83. It's 94 minutes on two sides. Wouldn't it be nice if they made a super laser disc that it was at least two hours? Do you think it could be done? Maybe now it could be done, but forget it. It's too late now. Because some of these musicals and other stuff that people watch, they don't want to take a break. I don't mind a regular movie, but when it's something like this, you're watching the pace and the people singing and everything, and then you have to stop it and turn it over to the other side. But that's what Laserdisc is about. That's the beauty of it. Um, being part of the movie experience, not just press and play, and not being part of it after that. Okay, what was this rated? Well, I don't think there was an official rating for something like this. Probably, I give it a G rating because it wasn't anything bad. There was some guns in it and stuff and pirates, so maybe you could upgrade it to PG. But not much more than that. So, there's two acts, and that's it. Um, George Walker was on it. Judith DePaul, I don't know any of these people. They're Probably some of them are not even alive anymore. And that's that. You can hear the dog walking on the floor upstairs there. <laughs> okay. Um, it had a slight amount of laser disc rot, but you know, you really can't complain because the slight laser disc rot was very minor. I had another disc I was going to watch tonight, but too much laser disc rot. Now, those. What I try to do is is go back to the ones that I, I say I'm never going to watch. Put them in the player and see if they work right. And then maybe I'll watch them. As long as it doesn't cover the screen with dots. I can't watch a movie when it does that. Um, is there anything else to add to this? No. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye.